Today is February 21st of 2023. This is the start of my vlog on how I'm setting up for my holiday work visa for New Zealand and actually going to New Zealand. This has been a life dream of mine for probably like 10 years and I haven't even gone to New Zealand yet because I don't wanna just go there for a week or two weeks. I wanna actually live there, which is the whole reason I'm doing this. And the whole reason I'm showing you guys this video is because there is so little information out there about the holiday work visa. So let's just jump right into it. So on the screen, I have the website of where you can find the holiday work visa, but before you can even apply, you're gonna have to create an account. Now you're gonna need to know your name, well, your first name and your last name that is documented in your passport. So you're gonna need this in order to create an account. So once you have an account done, let's get to the next part. Once you create an account and you go to apply, it's going to come up with all of these different uh, countries that you can apply and as you can see some of these are actually closed but if I go down to the bottom United States of America is open go for me <laughs> alright I'm just gonna click apply now this is where it's gonna bring you uh, <clears throat> so now we just start filling it out so it looks like you only have to fill out one two these three things I'm probably just gonna blur these out so you guys can't alright guys so I figured it'd be easier showing you guys like this. So as soon as you log in and you click on USA, you're going to be given this application at the top. There's going to be four different sections, personal health, character, WHS specific. And from here, I'm just going to scroll down and you guys can pause the video if you want. So you can see what each section is like. So you know ahead of time what you need. Now this one got me a little tripped up the industry and occupation. I'm a firefighter, wildland firefighter now. They don't really have that. Before that I was an IT specialist, which they don't really have that either. So I just put in the closest things I could find and I got accepted anyway. So my opinion, just find something as close to your job as possible. Uh, important the information you have provided indicates that you are currently residing outside New Zealand if this information is not correct it is essential that you return to the personal details well, that's true I'm not in New Zealand have you previously been issued a New Zealand holiday work visa no uh, you must answer yes even if you did not use the visa I have never applied never used do you have sufficient funds available for your holiday work visa yes you must be able to Present evidence of your funds upon request. Please enter the date you intend to travel to New Zealand. Uh, so I plan on entering New Zealand November... I'm going to say like November 10th. Of 2023. Have you been to New Zealand before? I have not. If so, if yes, when? Can't do that because I haven't been there. Do you have sufficient funds to purchase an outward ticket when you are due to leave New Zealand? Yes, I do. You must be able to present evidence of your funds upon request. Do you meet the specific requirements for the scheme you are applying for? I believe so. A little tricky. You have to save it. Oh, okay. Once you save it, then you can complete it. Um, I'm actually just going to double check everything because I don't want to mess this up because I think I, you only have like one shot at applying for this and if I get denied I will be the saddest boy in the goddamn world. Uh, I have not previously applied. You have sufficient funds. Check the amount of funds you will need here. Okay, so I'm just going to click here. Sufficient funds for to meet the you need to have sufficient funds to support yourself for the length of your stay. Uh, minimum funds required. Uh, how long are you able to stay in New Zealand? And the amount of funds you need depends on the agreement we have with the government of your working holiday scheme, other countries. So I need 4,200. 
which I have. Evidence of funds can be cash, traveler's checks, bank drafts, a recognized credit card with sufficient available credit. Submit. Please note that you must pay the application fee before your place is secured. The total charge to submit your working holiday scheme application is 35. Comes out to be about $21. That's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I already exist. Oh my god, what just happened? Let's go, let's go, let's go. It is February 24th, everyone. And about like 30 minutes ago, I got an email saying that my visa was accepted. It was that simple. I think it took, what, two and a half, maybe three days? So three days, and I got accepted. It took like, what, 20, 20 minutes? And $21 and like 30 cents later, because that's how much it was to apply for the visa. And your boy got it. He's going to New Zealand. Let's go.